Hello everybody. Today we are going to complete our story that we talked about last time, which is talking about the island of the sun. So as you remember, we have three main characters. The first character was the farmer who was the father, and the second one, it was, uh, he was, sorry, the older son who was selfish and greedy and we have also the younger son who was kind and generous and you know that and you remember that we said we said that this one the older brother took everything and left nothing to his brother except a basket and a knife and his brother was extremely poor he was extremely sad and one day he was sitting on the top of the mountain and suddenly a huge bird came and started talking to him and he promised him to take him to the island of the sun which consists of too many, a huge amount of gold. Today we are going to complete our story and continue our story. Okay. And as the bird landed, the sun set behind the island, which glittered brightly. Glitters, glittered means from glitter, glittered, lamat, brightly. And the boy took one piece of gold. He put it in his basket and climbed on the back of the great bird. As you remember, the bear told him that you have to take just one piece of gold. So that he took just only one piece of gold, okay? And then the bear, the, he climbed onto the, bear, the back of the bird and they went back. Here was... The song who was singing the old, the young brother. Away from the island, the great bird flew. Over the waters, the great bird flew. Flew, fly, flew, flown. Flew is the past tense, past. From fly, yatir. Yeah, okay. Over the forest, the great bird flew. Back to the mountain, the great bird flew. That means the bird go up uh, and over water, over forest, over everything and go up to the mountains because it can flew, fly anywhere. Okay, here as you see, we said that before this one the young brother the younger brother he was extremely poor and after he took take talk taken talk verb to and after he took the piece of gold he become rich let's read what happened later the younger brother took that piece of gold and he did he did he did it means he did out of the uh, of the forest. توجه نحو الغابة. أخذ أخذ قطعة الذهب وتوجه نحو الغابة. Then he bought a small piece of land. A small piece of land. قطعة أرض صغيرة. Where he reared horses, reared ربع horses, cows, and a few hens. 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 What's the meaning of hens? Yeah. He worked hard and lived well. He took that piece of gold and he, if, uh, we can say he made, he made a very small farm uh, with horses, cows and a few hens. And then he lived and worked very, very hard and lived well. He is not poor any, anymore. Here, as you see, this one is the older brother, and he is. This is the younger brother. Here, the the older brother is wondering and come and told his younger brother, "How could you, how, how could you get this money? How could you buy that land?" Now let's let's see together what did he say and what happened. Okay, but 
One day, his older brother came. Where did you find this fortune? Fortune Tharwa. This land, how could you buy this land? So his younger brother told him about his trip to the island. Island, Jazeera is island. You can't say Iceland. To the island of the sun. Where he got his piece of gold. I must meet this bird. Who's talking now? The younger or the older brother? Yes, the older brother. Yeah, he started talking and he was jealous. And he said that I must meet this bird. Give me your knife and your old basket. And now he want to pretend, pretend... Pretend that he is poor. He is not rich to let that bird to see him and tell him that he doesn't have anything. And the older brother set off through the forest. And when he reached that mountain, he sat upon a rock. Sit down. He sat up on the rock. Yeah, up on the rock and waited. Waited, waited more and more time till the huge, very, very big bird come. Okay, after a while, he felt a rush of air. Rush of air, in the famine, the hawa. And beating of wings was heard. The wings of the bird, the huge bird, they uh, was heard because he was uh, flying so that he went, he come closer to him. He could hear the wings while the bird was uh, flying. And there, as he gazed towards the west, towards the sitting sun, the older yeah, look at this picture here. While this, the older brother was looking toward the, the forest and the sun, when the sun was sitting, a bird appeared amidst its bright rays. Sorry, a bird appeared at Ta'ir, the Harafaja. Sorry. Amidst its bright rays. Bright rays means soaring, going up closer toward the, the mountain where the old brother was sitting up on the mountain, up on a rock on the mountain. Okay, closer toward the mountain, it landed next to him. It refers to to the huge bird, yes. The huge bird landed, landed next to the old brother. Why do you sit here all alone? Here the, bo the bird is talking to the old brother. Is that true? Is this true or is this false? Unfortunately, unfortunately, it means لسوء الحظ. لسوء الحظ. It's, it is. I don't own any position. Position, as we said before, لا أملك شيء. I have nothing. I want gold. Okay, now the bird told him that. Climb on my back, said the great bird. I will take you to the island of the sun. There you can. You may take only one piece. Only one piece of gold. You can take one piece of gold. It's okay. Away from the mountain, the great bird flew over the forest. The great bird flew over the waters. The great bird flew to the island of the sun. The great bird flew, and as it landed, the sun sat behind the island. The older brother looked and saw sparkling, sparkling lama gold everywhere. في كل مكان. He picked up one piece and placed it in the basket as he promised the gray, uh, the very huge bird. He promised it that he would take only one piece. And the very huge bird told him that you just have to take only one piece of gold. Let's see what happened later. Look at this picture here. Look at him. 
Look at this bird. Let's see what happened. A second piece he plays in the bar. Okay, the basket. Yeah, sorry. He picked up one piece of uh, one piece and he placed it in the basket. The basket seems empty. Empty. أخذ قطعة من الذهب حط وضعها في السلة وجد السلة ما زالت فارغة. I may as well take another one. A second piece he placed in the basket. Then a third he continued picking, picking up to take, to take more and more, more and more, more and more. Picking up the large, large chunk, chunk, beast, beast, sorry, the largest piece of gold he even took. Instead of that, he took three pieces and he also took the largest piece of gold until the basket was completely full. Look here and here. We will today stop till here. Next time we will see together what happened, what happened to the old brother and that what did the great beard do and here you see we will imagine what could happen later i will write you several questions comprehension questions talks about the story that we read and then we will answer them together thank you